Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hello. Hello everyone. Hello my Dixie Bell Page um, family. How are you? My name is Tracy. I'm here. It is Whimsical Wednesday. And I'm here with, to paint with you tonight. We're going to take it down to super basic. Um, I had someone write to me this week that they were so frustrated because they um, tried to do a, a technique that I'd done and it was a mess, a hot mess. And they lit, she said I was crying. She was literally crying. And that breaks my heart because I am on here to inspire you to succeed. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to become frustrated and cry and put it away and never touch paint again. That's not what we want. So, I, you know, maybe it is really good to just do this because if someone, someone else who were brand new to painting, um, who watched a thousand videos, decided to do this, this could be a success. Just look for a piece that's got good bones like this and just imagine it. Choose your color, which I know can be really, really hard. Uh, do you usually keep the inside of your pieces original? Jill, if I can, I do. Um, they get a lot of use and uh, painted furniture, no matter how hardy you make it, no matter what top coat you put on it, if it's going to have a lot of use, I mean, eventually it's going to get scratched up. And so I try to leave them original on the inside. I clean them really well. Maybe I'll decoupage some paper on them. Um, if, it, if they're not salvageable, um, this one is. If they're not salvageable, I will paint them and put a really good coat, a couple coats of gator hide on the inside. But I try to leave the original on the inside, if, unless the customer requests that. That I uh, that I don't okay so here we go tree frog green gorgeous and bright hey do I have a Dixie Bell person on here I don't remember seeing is Jasmine on with us or Kelsey has it has Dixie Bell are you there I haven't seen you there yet <laughs> let me know if you're here so all I need is my paint this is it this these are our two products this is gonna do the whole thing paint and wax a spray bottle and a brush this is my Dixie Bell mini it's my favorite Dixie Bell brush I absolutely love it so that's it. That's all. That's all we're gonna use. Um, uh, uh, uh. So now I don't see Dixie Bell comedy. I wonder if I don't have anyone on with me tonight, which would be really weird. Okay, I have my mic on. I'm gonna turn my back to y'all. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer while I paint. Whoa! Here we go. All right, there we go. Um, yes. Oh, Savannah. Hi, sweetheart. Hi there. So I didn't see you. So I'm I'm glad I asked. Good to see you here. All right, my gator, my my tree frog bring. Blah, 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 blah. My tree frog bring. Oh my goodness, tree frog green does not get used that often. Um, and so it's a little bit thick. And um, I am gonna go ahead and pounce this on, but I may take my spray bottle right here and give it a little bit of spray and it'll just help that paint get into the nooks and crannies and it'll spread out a little bit. Um, Dixie Bell paint, what's awesome about it is if you're, if you want something really thick with a lot of texture, you can usually um, open this up and just let it air dry, let air get to it and it makes it nice and thick for you. Or if you've had your container open for a while, um, and it's gotten too thick, you just pour it out into another bowl and add a little bit of water to it, and you can dilute it down to whatever consistency that you want. Um, so nothing pretty here, you guys. I literally did all of my paint here in just like 20 minutes. You just wanna slop it on, get it in all of the nooks and crannies, just like this. Okay, we're gonna get this whole piece painted together right here, right now. Um, get down in the deep spots, and then I'm gonna go back and clean up my brush strokes in just a second. But I literally just scrub this on, just like this. Now we do this a lot together, I know that we do. We paint a lot together here, um, just as you do with a lot of the other brand ambassadors. But um, we don't usually focus on this base coat that often, um, because usually we've got some fun, fancy technique that we're trying to show you. But that side is done and dry. It's had no sealer put on it at all. And um, we're gonna wax that side in just a minute. But I wanna show y'all how not perfect I paint. I mean, I'm a, it's a mess. I'm painting a mess. We are using Tree Frog Dream. Yes, for those just joining. Thank you, Savannah. Okay, so anyway, I, um, I just pounce this in because there's these carvings on here. And then I go ahead, I go ahead and get this side pounced in and then I'm going to go back over here because it's had time to sit there for just a minute. And I'm going to go over there before it's had too much time to sit there. And I'm going to kind of smooth out my brush strokes. You can do that with water if you want. I don't really feel that I need that right now. We're, we're going to, we're not going for like a super clean, clean look because we actually are going to black wax over it. 
Um, so there we go. Okay, got that thrown in there. Now I'm gonna take, take my brush and I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm just gonna bring my brush strokes down, just like that. I want it to go from top to bottom. Just smooth it all out, smooth it all out, just like this. And then I wanna get in here and pick up any, any little drips that I might have, like your holes right here, you might get some drips. I just usually use my finger, pull that out, pull, just dab any excess off with your brush, smooth it out, just like that, and then get back over here where we are. Um, People who are missing out. Is someone missing out? I have two on my wish list next door. Um, I, I am so sorry. When I've got my back to y'all, I miss out on what y'all are talking about. But y'all just watch, talk amongst yourselves, take some notes, and hopefully learn something, right? Hopefully learn how easy this is. I do believe that we have a lot of people that watch and are intrigued and want to do it and just Think about it. Think about it too hard. You're just thinking about it too hard. If you've got a piece at home, just do it, y'all. Just pick a color. Don't overthink it. I mean, we, we, my mom and I, I mean, yes, I had it narrowed down to two colors for her, but she picked a color like that. Like she just, she was like, oh yeah, I love that plum color. And then she saw the green, she was like, oh yeah, do green. And that was it. And I said, okay, fine. And we didn't talk about it anymore. I opened the jar and we, <laughs> I just started painting, and that was that. We were done. And I mean, I just think immediately it already looks so much better. Okay, so someone may ask me if I'm gonna seal this. So we're gonna cover the entire piece in black wax. We're gonna cover the whole piece in black wax. We are gonna wipe back um, and just leave it in the nooks and the crannies, but it is going to get wax on its surface. So honestly, after that, we don't need all right, here we go again, guys, up top to bottom. Just making my strokes go from top to bottom, just like that. Uh, we don't need to put a top coat on it if we don't want to. However, on the top, I probably will coat it in gator hide because it is a buffet. It probably will go in someone's dining room or in someone's entryway for them to toss their keys on or their purse on. Huh? What'd you say? Or something like that. So I do want it to be nice and hearty for them. Uh, so I probably will put a coat of gator hide on it later. All right, so remember I told you that I did two coats on the other side. This is just one coat here, and my paint is really thick. I'm gonna take my uh, spray bottle here and just give it a good spritz. That helps me uh, spread the paint out there. I thought I'd, we swept and cleaned, but I'm still picking up little bits. I just did this so fast today. Um, did I prime this piece? No, y'all, I didn't. I, I went with a dark color on purpose because I knew that time-wise I didn't have time to prime it. Now this piece, had I decided to go with a, you know, if I'd gone with driftwood or sawmill gravy or fluff or, you know, any of those light colors, I definitely, you know, a light pale pink, I definitely would have primed it. Um, but because I was going with a bold, either plum crazy, or especially if you used a black or navy or, you know, aubergine, anything like that, you would not, there's no need. You don't need to prime it. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about bleed through. But the nastiness that came off of it, I know would have shown through. Um, oh no, Cindy's throwing the mad face. No mad face is allowed. <laughs> okay, so this is the other side. I'm gonna paint this side real quick for y'all too so that you can see um, just how I work on large flat surfaces. Um, oh, I'm saying, no, I don't need to shake my phone, my phone. Oh my goodness, how did I do that? How did that happen? I turned y'all sideways. Now I don't even know how to turn you back. Am I sideways? I've never done that in the middle of a live. Is that something new? I'm gonna have to turn my phone up. Let's see, let's see what happens if I do this. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to do with y'all. I don't even, now I'm like, <laughs> Nene, I'm all jacked up. What do I do, y'all? Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to do. I really don't. Holy cow. I've never, ever, ever had this happen in a live. Someone help me. 
Someone tell me what to do. Oh my gosh. And it's like ultra magnified. Can you take it off? I don't even know what to do. It's like super magnified. Holy cow. I don't. How on earth, y'all? Okay, this weird screen came up because it said I shook my phone. Someone help me here. <laughs> it says I'm fine, I'm perfect, really? Okay, well I want y'all to know, are, are you serious? I can't even see y'all. Are y'all serious it's perfect? I'm fine. If y'all could see what I'm seeing, I'm sideways. I'm like completely sideways, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm trusting y'all. I'm just gonna keep going. Holy cow, if you could see it, Nini, it's hilarious. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of water here, spraying it on, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm painting up here at the top. Now, I, the only thing I have not done, y'all, is the very top surface, and we won't do that on camera. I do wanna be super careful with the top surface. I mean, it's definitely the part that, you know, everybody's gonna see and touch, and, um, so I wanted to, and plus, it's just harder for y'all to watch me do that. So this piece also, after tonight, I'm gonna have to go back in and clip some of this off. This, I don't know if it got, must have gotten wet at some point. And so the sides are a little bit lifted. I'm gonna have to glue those down and do some clamping. Um, but still, we're gonna paint right over it for right now. I'll go back and, and do that later. It's got a little bit of a damage on the sides. But I couldn't pass it up, y'all. I couldn't pass up the beauty of the front of it, and it functions perfectly. The inside is in mint condition, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, I can't believe it's perfect, y'all. I, I, I wish that y'all could see it. So it, I guess when I moved my phone with, on the, on the uh, tripod and I rolled it over, it shook my phone. So it thinks that I shook it. You know, so, you know how you can shake your phone and it, it does something? This is so weird. And so it went into this weird mode that I've never seen before, ever, 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 ever. Okay, so same thing here. Look what I can do, y'all. I can go like this. I don't have to go up and down on the sides yet. I don't have to. You, you don't have, you can just fill in. Fill in all your areas. Just get it on there. Just move it around. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to use tape. And then at the last minute, come back and straighten out all of your strokes, just like this. I, I usually go up and down, get them just the way I want them, and then very softly, I come back and I move it just like this, okay? Just like that, same thing up here. Nice and smoothed out, same thing down here. And we're done, we're gonna turn it around. All right, hey Zadie, something weird happened with my phone, and they say that it's fine, but come look what my live looks like. <laughs> I can't even tell what they are seeing. I'm sideways. Yeah, isn't that strange? And they said they, that it's fine. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, so I'm going to have to ask y'all. I can't see what y'all see. I mean, it, I'm blindly doing this. I literally can't see what y'all are seeing. Yeah, I'm going to wax right now. We're going to wax right now, Faith. Right now. Sadie, will you put this in that jar of water that's over there on the table? Oh, have you seen my pink out shirt? No, babe. Can we talk about that later? Uh, all right. So, here we go. Can y'all see this side? This is what I need y'all to see. We see the whole piece as well as you. Are you serious, Kathy? This is so weird. Phone needs a reboot. Well, I'm not about to do that. No, I did not degloss, I did not sand, I cleaned it with white lightning, and I uh, cleaned it really well with white lightning, and then I just started painting with tree frog green, right here, tree frog green, um, and two coats, two coats on this entire side, and let that dry. I did it about an hour before we went live, and then I painted this side right now live in one coat, so this is one coat, and it's drying, and we're not gonna touch this again. I just wanted to show you how fast I painted half of this small buffet. Half, okay? Um, my point is I'm trying to encourage you to not overthink things and to let you know that you can make something beautiful in a simple style, very simple style. Um, okay, so now let's get on moving with this. I've got Best Dang Wax in black. Now, I know that a lot of people, when you watch um, other brand ambassadors, and I do this as well, uh, a lot of us will paint a piece 
And then um, we seal it before we use wax. We will seal it with uh, the clear coat satin or you'll seal, seal it with gator hide, right? Um, yay, thank you. Thank you, Pauline. Uh, and I love the frog, yes. It's just so, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm using my hand like this. <laughs> my mom's cracking up right now. I'm talking to y'all like this. I forget that y'all can see me straight. Um, so the reason that we often will use gator hide or a, one of this uh, top coats is because wax is very, uh, the dark, best stain wax is grabby. Um, when I say grabby, this chalk paint is very porous. It's, its pores are open and hasn't been sealed and it's gonna absorb and soak up like a sponge anything that you put on it. So when you put a dark wax on it, it's gonna drastically change the color of the paint and it's going to soak into all the little pores of the paint. Um, I have to turn this to read. Have you painted the indigents a different color any of your piece? I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Painted, you painted the indentions a different color. You mean inside here, in here? Um, I haven't done it on this piece because I'm trying to only use one color tonight. We're painless painting. But yes, absolutely. So what I do usually is paint the whole piece, whatever color I want, and then go back in with a small artist brush and just paint it as a flat piece on the indentions like that. Or if you're gonna paint the back of it another color and then you want this the same color, do your back part first. You can do the back part, cover it all, cover it all, and then go back in with your top coat over this whole area and then use your small brush to put your top coat, like the higher part, up against it. Um, it's a good question and that's something that will come to you more easily once you do it over and over. But the main thing is to paint the whole piece first it would be easier, I'm gonna tell you, it would be easier, whatever color you're gonna do in the back, let's say you're gonna do white in the back, go ahead and paint this whole thing white. Not the whole door, but this whole section, even these pieces, paint them white, and then go in, that's your furthest back color, and then go in with your color that's gonna go on top, let's say you're doing a black and white piece, go in with your black, and just come in on the top like that, and then paint all these little pieces black on the top, and this piece black and that leaves that white part back there. That way you're not having to get white down in all the little nooks and crannies. That's what you should do first. So do your indention first, and then the color on the further out this way towards us next, okay? So I hope that answers your question. Anyway, so we are going to do this. It has not been sealed. This is absolutely raw. Tree frog, drink, tree frog green, completely raw, very porous. It's gonna soak the heck up out of this besting wax, which this is what it looks like. I use it a lot. I absolutely love it. I love it in brown and black, and this is the black. Um, you can use any brush to apply this, but I personally really like to use the Dixie Belle Bell brush. It's, a it's not the synthetic bristles, it's a natural bristle brush. Um, it's stubby and very, very tough and round and, and you can really scrub with it. You can get in there and scrub your wax in deep. However, they did they do have the um, oval small, which looks like this, and it is the synthetic bristles. It's much softer and easier on your paint. And I think tonight I'm gonna use this one because this paint is fresh. This paint has only been dry for about an hour and a half. So if I go in with a stubby brush on paint that has had not even 24 hours, 12 hour cure time, but hello, it's possible. You can do it. You can get it ready before your company comes over, I promise. Um, but you may not wanna use something that's gonna be kind of, kind of hard and harsh on it. So we're gonna go with this that's a little bit softer, all right? So I have to turn my head sideways to see your comments. Um, can you seal it with the clear wax first, then go in with the black wax, or does it need to be done with one of the liquid clear coats? I prefer it with the liquid clear coats because to me, wax takes off wax. So if you clear wax at first and then you go and put the black wax on, you just get like some of it stays, some of it doesn't stay. It works a lot better with one of the clear coats or the gator hide first. But right now, we're just gonna do it straight on here. I don't have time, my company's coming, right? So I don't have time to do that in between. But I'm gonna show you that it's gonna look all right. But you do need baby wipes. You need some baby wipes. You don't need a wet, to, you can use a wet rag. It needs to be a soft cloth. Baby wipes are super, super soft. They're very absorbent. They, um, they're, they're scary. I think they're scary. It makes me wonder what we're putting on our baby's booties because baby wipes take off everything. Stains on clothes, they take 
someone left me a nasty note on my car yesterday and uh, put red mark red sharpie all over my door. Um, and I took a baby wipe out as soon as I got home. And I don't even know what I did. I think that was mistaken identity. Did I tell you this? Mm. Yeah, they left me an awful note and said I should apologize. And then they said that they were retaliating. And then they called me the B word. And I don't have any enemies. I think someone thought my car was someone else's. And they marked it with red Sharpie. And I had to go, yes, it's terrible. Dad, it was, my daughter was with me. My 13-year-old was with me. It was really scary. Dad thinks that you like parked next to someone too close. But there was not even anyone parked next to us. So yeah. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, Baby Wipes took the Sharpie off. So Baby Wipes will take this wax up. Okay, so here we go. I'd like to move you in closer so that you could see better. But I can't even see what y'all see, honestly. I'm going blindly on... What y'all tell me? I can't. Is this good? I don't know if this is good. I don't know if I'm in the screen. I don't know what you're seeing. So here we go. Gonna, but I don't wanna, I didn't wanna go off because we have like 400 people on here. Um, can you use, wash your wax brush and then use it for my, yes, yes, yes. All of their waxes wash out with soap and water. Absolutely. And actually I use, Zadie, are you in the laundry room? Will you bring me one of the little yellow soap bars by the sink called the Scrubbies? So I keep a stack of scrubbies by my sink. They are freaking amazing. Um, I never thought they were important. I'd always use Dawn soap. And then um, if you've not used these, by the way, my affiliate link is at the top of this video. I'd love it if y'all decide you wanna try something. If y'all would use my affiliate link, that makes us all so very happy. Um, okay, so this is called scrubby soap. Don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, this is what they look like. It removes paint, oil, dirt, grease, and more. Um, it is this wonderful citrus smelling soap and it's got this scrubby texture on it. So when I'm done working at the end of the night, I all my brushes just sit in water while I'm working during the day. And then at the end of the night, I go in my shop sink and I clean them off. I just grab my scrubby and I take my brush and I put some soap on it on one side and then I flip it over and I scrub my brushes into it like this. I just scrub, 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 scrub. And it takes all that wax off and I just do it until it scrubs clean, until it rings out clean. And these things are amazing and they feel great on your skin too and they leave your brushes of your, um, they leave your brush bristles really soft. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's do, let's start in here. So this part's kind of scary for a lot of people because a lot of people are like, what? That's so dark and so black and I don't know that I can do that. That's so scary. It is. It's a very scary part but I want you to cover it completely. And people also say, well, oh, it's such a waste. I mean, you know, you're, you're putting all of that in there and then you're wiping most of it away. Well, I am, but the look is so amazing that um, I don't even care. And plus, you, a little bit goes a long way. I, these last me forever, they last forever. So let's do one panel and not the other and so that you can get a good look. There's no rush. I just keep going in a circle. I just want to get it in all of the cracks. I don't want any green highlights showing anywhere. I want it to be all black, just like this. I hope y'all like this green when we're done. You'll see how much it changes it. It's crazy, the difference in the color. It makes it so rich. Um, so depending on how this looks, because I do want it to be a Hollywood glam piece, I had said that I didn't need to top coat it with anything, but I honestly may go ahead and do either uh, gator hide or um, the clear satin top coat, in, not satin, the clear coat in gloss. I may do that. I may, I probably will use gator hide. Gator hide gives such a beautiful shine. I love it. So that is that. Well, actually I'm going to go ahead and do the, I'm going to do the whole door. Let's just get up here do this is that scary scary for you guys um old-fashioned naphtha bar works great for cleaning brushes as well i don't know what that is but is that the bars that are grainy like the old-fashioned uh bars like my grandpa used to use he was a print they owned a printing company and um they always had those grainy soap bars at all the sinks there I'm gonna get down in between here too. You okay over there, Nene? Yeah. You, are you sinking? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay, so what you think? Um, that green is beautiful pop. I know, I know, Dixie Belle, we're doing so great. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so see, people wanted, they picked, y'all were right. People wanted to see um, something more simple. So here we go. I'm gonna take this. 
and rub that away. Isn't that gorgeous? It just gives like this hint of black and all the grain. It brings the, this faux wood grain that's going on on this piece. It makes the carving, look at that carving compared to that carving, and you just keep going. You just fold your baby wipe over and you just keep rubbing. Now remember guys, this paint's only been on here for an hour and a half, and um, look how hardy it is. I mean, I'm rubbing pretty hard. We've scrubbed it with wax. I just scratched it with my fingernail. So that, right, that little scratch right there is because my fingernail hit it. So if you've got something sharp, you know, your paint hasn't had cure time. Um, but that's okay, I'm not worried about it. I can go back and touch that up. But look how gorgeous this is looking. Do y'all love it? Please tell me that you love it. Um, watching from Australia, hey Joyce, hi there. Thanks for tuning in. And you just wanna get down, you can make this as clean as you want. You can take off all the black if you wanted. I mean, except for all the way down, obviously you can't get all the way in there. But I love it, I like it shadowed like that. I like leaving the shadow. Now there's other ways to get shadows. There's other ways, you can use Dixie Dirt, um, you can use Voodoo Gel Stains, you can use paint, you can water down your paint. I use paint a lot, I call it a paint wash. Um, you know, there's other ways to do it. There's glazes, Dixie Bell makes the glazes. You just have to find what you like to work with the best. But on these type of pieces, especially over the rich colors like the green and the plum crazy, I really, really like, uh, I really like the best, best stain wax, I do. All right. So that's it. Now you don't wanna wipe too much. So this side over here, I hit that edge too hard and I got a little bit of brown came through. It's not a big deal because this side we just painted. This side's still soaking wet. You can still see wet in here. So of course that rubbed off, it's brand new paint. Um, this, I need to open this up and get this right here. You wanna just check all your edges. And this over here, I don't wanna leave. Now I haven't done that side yet, so I don't wanna leave that streaky because I don't want, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting my baby wipes and getting that inside there really well. So what you think about that, y'all? Here's some black up here. You don't wanna leave that. If, you, if I'm not gonna finish working tonight, I wanna make sure and wipe that away because that wax will stay on there. Do you like it, Nene? Love it. Love it, Nene loves it. Um, Tracy, can you buy through your uh, affiliate link in the post or your local? Oh, oh yes, you can buy through. I thought someone was asking me that. Um, you censor the difference and love it. Um, I don't know what you mean by censor, Ju Julie. Um, yes, if you have a local retailer in your area and you want to go try these products out yourself or see them, you know, if you're not sure about the paint colors, always look up on the Dixie Bell website, um, DixieBellPaint.com. Uh, they have an area where you can enter your zip code and it will bring up retailers for you in your in your area. And there are so many retailers across the country. Um, if you um, are watching one of the brand ambassadors like myself tonight and you wanna try something and you just wanna click and order, my link is at the top of the video. Click that, it will take you to the Dixie Ball page and you order and then um, I get like a little bonus from that order. So I that's why us brand ambassadors really appreciate when you use our, our actual link on our videos. Um, so that's how that works. So that is that, you guys. So let me hold, let's get, uh, let me get one of these. So imagine this, imagine that this piece right here, which is so stunning, um, again, I can't see what you can see. It's got actually some real patina on it. Um, I'm gonna paint this in a super, super bold gold, and it will sit right here in a very brilliant gold and I think it's gonna just be stunning. So I'll do the whole piece in black, top and bottom, and we have been on for 45 minutes. So had we not chatted the whole time, um, I, and had this already been dry as well, y'all saw how quickly, I think I waxed that in about, I don't know what, seven minutes or something like that. So I probably could have waxed the whole entire front in about 30 minutes, and, um, and then all we'd have left would be the top, the sides, and the base. The base will also turn out really pretty as well. So let's see, anyone have any questions? The baby wipes will take off as much as you want to remove. Absolutely, it sure will. So this is what they look like. We got a lot of black off, you see that? And I could go back in and take off even more. If this is too grungy for some people, no problem. You just wrap, your, wrap it around your finger like that and get up in there, get up just like that. You can make it even a brighter green if you want. But I like it. I like the shadow effect a lot. 
So, so that's that, y'all. I hope that um, this encourages you to step out of your uh, that comfortable place or maybe even that frustrating place of not trying something or maybe the place where you tried something maybe too big for you right now and you need to kind of baby step it. Just back it on up right here. This is it. This is what you need. Two products. Paint, wax. Paint, wax. Paint, wax and a pretty piece of furniture. That's it. Okay, guys, well, um, I just painted a woven wicker chair. What should I put on the top? On top of the woven wicker, I would put, I would put gator hide. I'd put gator hide on it. Now, you could wax it if you want the woven wicker, if you want it to, to have like some shadowed effect like that, then wax it. And then I'd put some gator hide on it to really protect it, probably three coats of gator hide. Um, what brand baby wipes do you use that don't leave lint? Pampers, I'm told, leaves less lint than any of the others, but I I just buy wherever I am. If I'm at Walmart or these are H-E-B brand, I just buy them. I, I didn't have any issues with lint on this one. Sometimes I do, but tonight I didn't. So, um, uh, 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 let's see. So, I'm going to hop on over to Tracy's Fancy Page, and I'm going to wax this door with them over there. So, if you want to see it again, um, or if you came in late, go ahead and... Hop on over there if you want to, but I know Dixie Bell has a, someone else coming right behind us. Thank y'all so much. We had so many people watching tonight. I absolutely love that, and I will see y'all next Wednesday. We will not be doing painless painting. We will be back to doing something with a lot of layers and um, you know some transfers or something like that, but feel free in the comments to let me know what it is that you would like to see from me, um, and I will do best to work that into my custom orders, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much. Thank you for supporting Dixie Bell, um, and thank you for supporting me and being here in Dixie Bell. As always, I had a wonderful time, and I cannot wait to get off this camera because this is wonky, super wonky. Uh, oh, you wanna see the hardware? It's right here, okay? It's right here, right here. This is it, but I'm gonna paint it gold. Beautiful, isn't it? It's four of them. Four that go across. So pretty, but I'm gonna do it in gold. Okay, guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Sweet dreams to y'all too. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.